We have a question here from a professor right here at Loyola Marymount. There are nearly 200,000 DACA recipients, so-called dreamers, in the state of California, more than any other state, including several students right here at LMU. If you win and you reinstate DACA through executive action, another president could just overturn it again. So will you move on a permanent legislative fix for dreamers in your first 100 days if elected? Of course I would. I'm the son of immigrants myself, and I know that dreamers are essentially Americans in everything but this legal classification. I just want to return to this conversation because I think it's core. Our country is deeply misogynist, and most all of us know that. Money and men are tied together. That's where I thought Elizabeth was taking the conversation. The fact is strong societies would elect more female leaders. Strong men treat women well for the same reasons. I'm on the record saying that you need both strong men and female leaders in government because the fact is if you get too many men alone and leave us alone for a while, we kind of become morons. <laughs> so it's related to our campaign finance rules because right now the fact is we operate in a fundamentally anti-woman marketplace. And that includes the marketplace for politicians. If we were to put $100 democracy dollars into the hands of every American voter, instead of 5% contributing, you'd see that rate skyrocket to 50 or 60%, and you'd have many, many more women who would run for office because they don't have to go shake the money tree in the wine cave. Thank you, Mr. Could I, address I, I, I do. I'd like to follow up. The question again, Mr. Yang, Could was I about dreamers. You pledged reform? to move. You pledged to move on a permanent legislative fix in your first 100 days. Dreamers say that they are frustrated by Democrats' failure to prioritize their status in deal after deal. So why should dreamers trust Democrats now? I believe everyone on this stage would do the right thing by dreamers in the first 100 days. I would make it a top priority. I'm the son of immigrants myself. The fact is almost half of Fortune 500 companies were started by an immigrant or children of immigrants. Immigrants make our country stronger and more dynamic. And immigrants are being scapegoated for issues they have absolutely nothing to do with. If you go to the factory in Michigan, it's not wall-to-wall -wall immigrants, it's wall-to-wall -wall robot arms and machines. We have to send the opposite message of this administration. And as your president, I think I could send a very clear message where if you are considering immigrating to this country, and I'm the president, you would realize my son or daughter can become president of the United States. That's the opposite of the current administration, and that's the message I would love to send to the world. Thank you, Mr. Yang.